I've lost 180 pounds with a combination of carnivore, keto, and counting calories. I reached my goal in November of 2022. Right now I'm doing an experiment with being carnivore-ish and counting calories. If you want to see the results, stick around and subscribe and we can see how it goes. Don't forget to click the like button. Well, hey there. Imagine seeing you here. What are you doing here? Ha, ha, ha. Don't ask. I'm being silly. So I got my three burgers, and I've already cut it up into bite-sized pieces. Let me let you watch me. So then I got my... So, you know, I told y'all saw me do the taste test with the barbecue sauce and which one I liked better. Well, you know I ain't about to throw anything away. So this is... Um, G. Hughes barbecue sauce and G. Hughes ketchup with some minced onions. Cause you know I love my onions. I tell you, <clears throat> if I could had if I, you know, went back to just straight meat, I think I'd want to. I'd probably keep my onions in my life. I tried doing it with fruit that last time. That was okay, but it wasn't quite. It wasn't as uh, weight scale productive. It was not very scale productive doing that. Um. But anyway, but so far, this seems to be doing pretty decent. You know, I've lost those eight pounds. And, well, I got it still working on my detoxing from going out to eat on Monday. And then, um, you know, last week. So, I had I didn't step on the scale this morning. But I did have good little poop. Anyway, so, um, <clears throat> so yeah. So, I did not step on the scale this morning. I should. But I'll wait, I'll wait a little longer so that way I kind of have a good, a good time frame of me eating, you know, this eating on track for a little bit. And by the way, this is on track for me. So also, by the way, hi, I'm Terry. I am not carnivore, but I'm kind of doing carnivore-ish. And um, some people would call it ketivore. Some people would not because, hang on. Some people say ketovore is more like 10 carbs. Well, hang on. We are taking a bite. I wish I had a tongue as long as a dog. I'd lick that out. You know I would. But I've tried. And this gets pushed against my face. And I get barbecue sauce on my face. I've tried it. Come on now. If you've been following me for longer than two minutes, you know I would do it. I tried, but it didn't work. But, <clears throat> anyway. What were we talking about again? I'm not going to go back and, and, and try to find out what I was talking about. But, mm, it don't matter. It's probably a lie. That's probably some full full of monkey business but something or another. Anyway, so how are you doing? I think today's Wednesday. Listen, y'all. Yeah, it's Wednesday. <clears throat> it's been a wild week. I don't think my boss watches my, watches my channel, so I'm going to tell y'all. But if they said that we couldn't go to those conferences anymore... I would not cry. I like it. I learn a lot. I do. I do. But, man, coming back. It's just hectic. But. <clears throat> I'm one of those employees that. I don't even like to take a day off. I'm that old school person because when I come back. Catching up with all my emails and stuff. Oh my gosh, it's a hot mess. So, <clears throat> I'm that kind of person. I'm like, I need to be there. <clears throat> what if the building blows up and I don't know about it? <clears throat> but anyway, hey, this is one of the shirts I got at the conference. It's got that pretty little circle thing on it. So that at the conference so i like going to the conferences it's just coming back to work after them things Ooh, nelly it's rough but anyway so <clears throat> yeah today's wednesday i gotta remember tonight to take my um i'm gonna try to remember 
I think this weekend, we'll see, we'll see what I do, but I think this weekend we might do ground beef instead of, um, instead of the burgers. I'm not real sure. Give me time to figure it out, but we might, um, we might just do ground beef. And when I do it, I do it in the crock pot. So, um, but anyway, so I think that might be what I do this weekend, but but, oh, so anyway, the whole point of that was today's Wednesday. <clears throat> so tonight I got to get my trash out. And I also will probably, I, I might pull out some, anyway, and pull some meat out of the freezer. So if I plan on cooking something on a week, on the weekend, something that needs to be defrosted, like ground beef or whatever, I have an alarm on my phone every Wednesday evening. It beeps. And I'm like, do I want to, do I want to, so I want to take everything off the top of my freezer and shift it over to the other freezer to dig something out and put in the fridge, put out in my refrigerator for later, or do I just want to wait until Friday night and pull it out and just let it stay out all night? <laughs> That's how I am. But or <clears throat> am I doing burgers to where I don't have to defrost anything? But I do have a freezer full of yellow stickers and ground beef, so. I think I will probably, probably um, pull that out. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'll do it tonight or Friday night. It'll just be a surprise for all of us. I'll see what I do. Saturday morning, I'll wake up and be like, okay, well, Friday night, Terry didn't pull any ground beef out, so we're going to do burgers today. <laughs> this Friday's payday. This is the first time doing the, because, um, you know, in the past, we got paid. Um, it was twice a month. So sometimes it would be 80 hour check, sometimes it'd be 88, and sometimes, well, whatever's higher than 88. I know, Gidget, you do the math. Um, <clears throat> anyway, 92, I think, is what it, anyway, I don't know, whatever it is, you just do it. Um, <clears throat> you do that math. But anyway, but since I'm salary, we don't have that. Ours was the same all the time. So it's, it's going to be different, and you know me, I'm like, so... Um, but I'm excited to find out how it's going to work and all that good stuff. I've already got my budget figured out for how it will rotate every other week and getting the dog's meds and my meds and all that stuff. So, well, that's what I know. And I guess you're pretty much in the loop now. Yeah. So, well, and yesterday I made three creamies. We'll see. I don't know. I, and, I, and so I ate it in that video. Um, <clears throat> but we'll see what... Um, We'll see what I have tonight. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So today's your Friday. I hope you had a good week. And I hope you're going to rest up this weekend. Or if you work weekend shift, I hope you have a good weekend shift work. So, all right. I love you guys. I'll see you at supper. Bye. So what I have here is three burgers. And I've got some of this cheese. This is the fat-free mild cheddar cheese. Half of a serving. So 14 grams. And in here, I got a bowl of sour cream. No, 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 no. Um. Uh, Greek plain yogurt, it is 100 grams of that and two servings of, of salsa. So I'm going to microwave this for a few, I don't know, maybe two minutes. And then I will we'll put this into here. And that's going to be supper, y'all. I think I lost part of the cheese. Well, I know I lost part of the cheese on the, uh, on the, I put a plate on top of it. Dumb. And had a plate, you know, it was on a plate. I mean, it had to be, but dadgummit, it, uh. Stuck to the top plate and the bottom plate, so I lost part of it. Now, listen, we can't all eat the same. Hang on. Okay, so back to what I was saying. We can't all eat the same, you know? So if you can't eat the things I eat, that's all right. Don't worry about it. We all got different needs. There's vegans that I watch on YouTube, and I enjoy watching them. But I don't eat like them. So listen, I'm sorry I dropped that spoon. And Baxter's licking everything down there and knocking you all over the place. But anyway, so 
you know, we're not all on the same journey. We ain't all got the same health problems. <clears throat> so if you can't eat salsa, don't eat it. It's all right. Just put some seasoning on there. You'll be all right. So, um, you know, we're just, we're all doing stuff different. My, um, my creamy tonight, I went back to one I made a little while ago. It's just been in my freezer being so good, waiting patiently for me to eat it. It's butterscotch, the keto chow butterscotch, and the equipped caramel. Half and half, then with the xanthan gum and glucose in it. So, I know it's good because I already licked the, I already licked the lid. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff, Maynard. I mean, butterscotch and caramel. Hello. Two great things going together. Uh, yes, please. So anyway, how are you kids doing? How are you, how's your week? It's my Wednesday, so it's your Thursday. I got to work kind of fast because my alarms are going to start going off for all the things I need to do. Like getting out the trash and <clears throat> putting meat in the refrigerator. But what I got to remember is I have some leftover like meat juice that's been in my freezer I need to throw away. We'll see if I remember to take that out. Anyway, um, yeah, it's my Wednesday. It's your Friday. How's your Friday going? Are you doing okay? Are you are you have, making it through the week? You know, sometimes we have harder days than others. And it's okay to have a hard day. You just got to go home after your day, whether it's work or with family or whatever you've been doing. And then you just got to go home and be like, all right, Jesus. What could I, what did I learn that happened today? Did I have an argument with? A family member and I may have should have stopped arguing with them a little sooner um, did I stand up for myself for once so I'm proud of myself or was this the dumbest thing I've ever argued about and so I shouldn't have argued you know when you get home from stuff you just got to kind of decompress you gotta you gotta think about things you got to ponder you got to ponder so you guys got to think, all right, well, all right, well, that was boneheaded to eat that, or that was boneheaded to say that, but okay, well, it's done and over with. Tomorrow we just do better. So that's all you can do, whether you eat something bad or drink something bad or say something bad or do something bad, just get like, all right, well, let's go, let's get home. Let's talk to the big guy upstairs and be like, Lord. I know I said this, and I'm really sorry. Help me to do better next time. Lord, I know I looked at that those pretzel sticks, and I had, what is it? You're not supposed and I coveted. Lord, I know I coveted my coworker's pretzel sticks, and I'm sorry for coveting them sticks, but forgive me and help me do better next time. Or, um, Lord, I know I, sh I promised you that this was going to be the time that I was going to eat the way I was supposed to eat and I wasn't going to do wrong. Well, Lord, I did wrong today, but help me to do better tomorrow. Or Lord, I said I wasn't going to say GD or F or, or poop or whatever word. Lord, I said I wasn't going to do those words, say those words, but they come out of my mouth today out of anger. Help me do better tomorrow. So you just got to come home, kind of think about the day, and learn something from your encounters from the day. And then say, all right, big guy. It's all yours now. Help tomorrow be better. So that's what we got to do. So listen, <clears throat> I'm hungry. And I'm cutting. I'm, I'm shaving five minutes off our time together. I love y'all. But I'm hungry. And I'm almost hungry, but not quite. I love you guys. Bye. Did I even show you what this looks like? I don't know. So there it is. Sour cream. I mean, dad damn it. Yogurt. You could use sour cream, whatever you want to. Yogurt, cheese, salsa, and meat. And there you go. There's a 
Ketivore, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. This is a Terry Vore meal, I can tell you that much. So, there you go, that's how it looks. Yum, 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 I'm gonna give me some. Okay, bye, love you, bye. Here's one, here's one, here's one. Somewhere over the, wait a minute, wait a minute. Kermit the Frog. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? I do believe some something something. I think they're wrong. How about you? Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. La da da dee. I had all kinds of albums. Listen, I'm 52, okay? So I'm from the album generation. And we even had eight tracks when I was a kid. But I had a bunch of um, uh, record albums, the big ones, that were Sesame Street and um, the Muppets. Oh, my gosh. Do y'all remember the Muppets show? I used to love those two little old crotchety old men that were in. <laughs> those two crotchety old men that were up in the. Up in the 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 bleak, you know, the high seats, and um, the whatever you call them, special seats and fancy seats that fancy people sit in. Everybody's up there just making fun of them. But I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a minute to guess, and you don't ain't got to put in the comments. But guess which one was my favorite? Anima. He played them drums, and he always had his head bouncing around. I loved Animal. You thought I was going to say Miss Piggy, didn't you? Mm -mm. No, she was too prissy. And we know I ain't got a prissy bone in my body, because I'm half the time I'm licking on the bowl. All right, all right, for real. Love y'all. Bye. Here's my macros for the day. Definitely higher than what I was going for, but, meh, you know, sometimes it's going to be okay. All right, I love you. Bye, guys.